Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you guys are looking for undervalued investment opportunities, click subscribe to the channel. It's exactly what we cover. Uh, in this clip, I'm going to go over oil and gas. We're gonna do some technical analysis. We're gonna look at the dollar because uh, the dollar has a large impact to commodities and especially oil. Oil is the largest inflation hedge uh, of any of the commodities. Again, this is not financial advice, not advanced financial advice. It's, it's just financial education only. Uh, you guys are gonna have to do your own due diligence if you wanna partake in any of these stocks that I show you uh, in this presentation. So I'm gonna jump right into technical charting here. No, no prelude or anything. So here we go. So here's the dollar. I've got some, some trend lines drawn in here. So on a big picture view, uh, this is a weekly chart. We've got 2007 to 2021. You draw some trend lines in going across. We've got some strong support resistance, resistance here coming up and then some support coming back down. So there's a couple of things I, I think are of, of great importance. We have a trend line coming up from 2011 all the way through till 2020. The dollar broke to the downside of that trend line. So we are in a downtrend. <clears throat> and it's, it's a break where we made a lower low, a lower high, and then a lower low. So we are in a downtrend. The next support level is at this like 89, 88 area right here going across. We break that and I think the dollar could move down substantially. We also have the death cross coming. This is the 50 day crossing the 200 day. It's already crossed and we've got that newly established downtrend. So we'll see if it breaks this line here. And some people say this is a shoulder head, shoulder developing, and could potentially drop all the way down to about here. That's about where the price projection would be, somewhere around this area in here. Or all the way down to maybe 79. So here's crude oil, the price of crude oil itself. We've been coming up on a short-term basis. We had a hammer bullish engulfing pattern, very nice pattern there in November. This is where I was buying all through in this area in here for my personal portfolio. This is also, I opened the channel just before this. We've been moving on up. We created this pattern here and it broke to the upside. So again, this looks very good. And I already kind of loaded up. I added in on this pullback down here to some of the companies that we own. And right now I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm just watching watching what's going on. Here's the price of oil on a very long-term perspective. We've got an upward channel here. Looks just like that. We are coming up in this channel and you can see I've got all this drawn up here. We've got a pattern that formed here that broke to the downside, which is a wedge pattern. We broke to the downside. We're in this other pattern here. We've got a bunch of resistance we were coming on up in this pattern. It broke to the downside for a brief moment in COVID when everyone went, when everyone went silly stupid and sold the price of oil to a negative number. Uh, and they shut down the economy for two weeks. This was like a massive, insane buying opportunity in oil. Uh, and now the demand's coming back very strong. You're seeing the price rally absolutely ridiculously strong off the bottom here. And we broke this, this downtrend line just recently to the upside. So that looks incredibly good on a long-term perspective. And then looking at gold from a ratio standpoint, so this is gold to oil ratio. And if you look back historically all the way to the 1800s, a ratio of about 30 means that oil is incredibly cheap. We are at 27.04. We've got the trend line. This is an, a sloping upward channel that, we're, that we've got. We hit a incredible, insane amount for the ratio uh, all the way above 65, maybe even peaking at 100, 105. It came back down and this is where I accumulated was in, in this 50, 60 or 50, 52 range in here. 
And then we started blowing back down to the bottom side of this pattern. You could say that this is a shoulder, head, shoulder. And if you were to project this, I'll show you what the projection could potentially be. If you take it to about there, let me thicken the line up a little bit. And then it's about there. So it's going to go all the way back down to... <laughs> to a very low amount if you use this as a head and shoulders pattern. I do think it's going to go below 10. It's probably going to be maybe even five at some point, but we'll see. I, I don't want to project that, but it's every, every bull market in, in oil at the end of the commodities boom has gone below 10. So five to, five to 10 is a very good number and going from a number where we've got so many one, we're coming from the most undervalued state ever. So the larger the swing to the downside usually means the larger swing to the upside. And everyone's cutting investment into oil. So it very well could go to a number like three or four. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Moving on. This is SM Energy. It's one of my companies that I'm invested in. You draw the pattern out. We've got this kind of pattern here. We broke to the downside for COVID, which was a false move downward, which created this insane buying opportunity right here at the tip of this, this trend line coming down. And I bought right there. I was like, yes, thank God I, I, I found the opportunity. It broke to the upside of the trend line and it's been moving up quite substantially. Is this going to continue? We'll see how... I don't know if this pace is going to continue because it's been ferocious, but I'm, I'm sticking in there. I'm, I'm hanging in. Uh, I think I think we have every bit of a chance of breaking these highs uh, at $85, $86 and moving on up way past that, given the conditions that, we've, that we purchased under, how undervalued this company was, uh, how undervalued oil was, and how investments are not going to feed oil. And I think the world's going to consume more oil than what most people think. And, and they're just not looking at oil. Here's the short term on SM Energy. I think it might have, I don't know if it ended here. I was doing it in the middle of the day. Really strong move higher. We went into this consolidation period where it was kind of going sideways. This is basically a pullback. And now we're moving on up again and we could see another big move. Now, you could look at this and say that this is a first, you could say this is a, First leg kind of breaking out here, and we could see a massive move here. Just massive. So it, it, it's a good opportunity. I'm not selling it. Nope. Here's Centennial Resource Development. This is another oil and natural gas uh, company. You can see that we had a declining wedge that broke to the outside here. I think that 2019 was going to be a bottom and that it was going to take off. Uh, and what happened was COVID brought this thing down. COVID brought it down and created an insane opportunity for investors. Insane. <clears throat> so everything was in place to break to the upside and for this to move right here in late 2019, early 2020. COVID brought this thing down, created even a better buying opportunity. We came back up and what we're creating is a cup and handle pattern that we broke to the upside here. The couple hand, cup and handle pattern, if you were to put a price projection on it, I'm just going to steal this guy here. I'm just going to show you guys kind of what the potential could be. It's something like that. So that's what it kind of looks like on a regular chart. Logarithmic might be a little bit different. Here's uh, Centennial Development Resources uh, zoomed in. Nothing to worry about. There's the cup, and this is the handle portion of it. And we're breaking to the upside. That looks good. Uh, here's Callan Petroleum. Good old Cal. We uh, broke the downtrend here. We also have a cup and handle pattern that's forming that we're breaking to the upside. This would go up quite substantially as well. Uh, we could very easily... Maybe even see 100 bucks pretty quick. Uh, but again, I, I don't want to get stuck into price projections. I don't want to get stuck into where this thing's going to go and win. 
the the key factor is we've got patterns we're breaking patterns to the upside and we should be holding with oil being this cheap that's that's the key takeaway here zooming in this is the little uh we'll call it cup pattern uh that broke to the upside here it broke right this day here break so let it make you money just hold on Here's Crew Energy. This is a Canadian oil and gas company I own. Uh, it's one that I was talking about on the channel. Sometimes I don't talk about it. I still own it. Draw in the, the pattern. It broke out of it. Went sideways. Let's zoom in over here. <clears throat> and it's been taken off quite substantially to the upside. Don't do anything. Just let it go. Let it go. Would I buy it up here? Eesh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd buy it way up here. But uh, I would, but I'm going to hold on. I would, but I'm holding on. Birchcliff. Now, this thing looks very good. We've got this nice squeezing up pattern. It's a big pattern. And we broke it to the upside. And we're moving up nicely. Looks fantastic on a long-term perspective. Zooming in on it. Here it is, moving on up. And we're putting in, looks like a bullish engulfing right now. That looks good to move higher. Bullish engulfing. Bull, bullish engulfings in here it means it's going to continue probably higher. Here's Tellurian, one of the, another one that I uh, shared with members on the, or I should say subscribers on the channel. We've got this big old pattern that's developing. Uh, COVID broke it to the downside, created this insane buying opportunity. If you're a patient investor, which we are, and let's zoom in on this area over here. Here we are moving on up. Now, I know there's some resistance up here if you were to chart this all out, uh, but don't worry. Even if this pulls back some, just be patient. Be patient and, and it will reward you. They're getting contracts. They're going to build this thing. And I, we're in that, the, 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 growth, the growth phase for the, for the stocks or for stock of Tell. We're in the growth phase for a development stage company. They're developing a uh, terminal. So a lot of the excitement and a lot of the move happens when they're developing and constructing uh, that LNG terminal. Here's Grand Tierra Energy. This thing looks fantastic. Draw in this big picture view. And we, we came up, kind of hit the ceiling. We're putting in a little cup and we're at the bottom of the handle. Would I buy it down here? I would. Yeah, why not? Looks fantastic. And when it breaks, this is going to take some energy to break this. We're going to come up, break it, create this cup and handle pattern, and then break that, and it will it will move pretty good, I think. This is zoomed in, coming on up, and here we're creating this handle. It's going to take some time. It's a big one. It's a big old handle. Now here's Tetra Technologies, another energy service company that I like. Draw in this gigantic pattern, massive pattern. Broke to the downside. This is where I was buying. And we're coming back up. And I think it looks fantastic. Zooming in. We just continue to have these big updates, small pullbacks. That's exactly what you want to see. See these big updates and then the smaller down days? That's perfect for a continuation move higher. Transocean. We are still way down there. We, we're, we chart this through. Broke to the upside. And we're just moving sideways. We'll zoom in here. We have we have moved off its bottoms quite substantially. And it still looks okay. Now, this could pull back a little bit. It very well could just by looking at this very short term. We might have a little small pullback for a day or two or something or more. But overall, uh, the, big, the big trend is, you know, I, I say the trend is what you want to ride. The trend is higher. We broke the downtrend. Southwestern Energy Company, SWN, another company that I own, more of a natural gas company in America. Big old move from 98, 99, the last commodity bull market, all the way to the top. Big move. Then we created this, this pattern that looks kind of like Bitcoin. So this was the, the shoulder head, shoulder. We had a, a, a basically a bull trap develop here. It went all the way up to, this is a big bull trap. And then sold off hard. And then if you look at Bitcoin, we are Bitcoin's right here. And I think it's going to do one of these all the way back down. 
and do kind of do the same type of pattern just like this one right here. Uh, but this one's broke the downtrend here. We've got the basing pattern. This is the base of it right here, and it's starting to move on up. Looks good. And remember, I mean, this when this thing took off, it took off. So you could see something similar to this on the left side. We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't want to predict it. Here's SWN zoomed in, goes from the left of the page to the right top. It goes from lower left to upper right. That's exactly what you want to see. Looks great. Antero Resources broke its downtrend. Moving on higher, looking good. Zooming in goes from the lower left to the upper right. You can't get much better than that. If you own this company, you know what you do? Nothing. Do nothing. Just let it make you money. Let it make you money. Now, here's another thing I want to I, I talk about here um, where I probably would have gone out or gotten scared out if I was a short-term trader, and I'm not anymore. We had a bearish engulfing here on a big down day. Came up, small little pull up here. This had a signature trade to go lower, but it went higher. So I don't trade these things anymore. I, I, I just buy it and hold. I'm an investor, and if the ratios tell me to hold, and, and we've got positive market conditions, which is real estate and expansion phase, I'm not selling. I'm going to make money. Here's CNX Resources. I also own this one. We had kind of the sideways channel, broke to the downside for a little while, and it's been meandering. It's still down pretty low. This is a big natural gas company, a bigger one in America, uh, and I do own a little bit in it. This is CNX zoomed in. We've come off its bottom, and it's kind of just moving higher very slowly. So not, not a bad one if you, if you want a little bit. Well, we'll see if it's, if it's a slower company. We'll see. So that's what I have for today uh, for oil and natural gas. Those are a lot of my holdings. Now, why didn't I cover MCF Contango? Uh, Contango is they're, they're doing a merger, and the, the chart right now doesn't really mean anything. I'll go over another video clip with about Contango and what I think. Uh, I'll let you guys know kind of, you know, there's a lawsuit, all this other stuff. That That is very common. I'll go through it in another video. If you guys like this, this content, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys listening. Leave comments and questions below. This is Finding Value.